Today, we're gonna to take a Zoom H1 recorder and upgrade it to this for $15. I absolutely love the Zoom H1 recorder. It is one of the smallest, cheapest, and just best all around recorders. But there's a couple things I don't really like. I'd love to be able to have two inputs instead of one and to have XLR as well as more than one output. So I can not only monitor with headphones, but also send a line over to the camera. So today we're gonna upgrade this thing using a couple cheap items from Amazon and it's gonna cost you around $15. So let's head over to the bench and get started. Let's go over some of the parts you're going to need for this upgrade. Everything's going to total up to around $15 and make sure you check the description for links to each of these items. So here are a couple items you're going to need for this upgrade. First, we need two XLRs to one 3.5 millimeter jack adapter. This is essentially going to give us two inputs for the H1. And the way this works is one of the XLRs goes to the left channel and the other one goes to the right channel. This way, when we're done recording, we'll be able to pull our audio into post, separate the left and right, and we'll have independent control of the levels for each microphone. Next, we're going to need a splitter. Really any audio splitter will do, but I found this really great compact version on Amazon. We'll also need a couple small zip ties. I have these black ones that I had a big pack of, but you can pick these up really anywhere, either online or at your local home improvement store. And the final item is optional, and that is a cold shoe adapter, which we'll get to a little bit later. The first step is to create two longer zip ties by using two zip ties together. This will give us two longer straps. Next, run the zip ties through through the microphone guards on the top of the H1 recorder. We're going to be strapping down the two XLRs facing away from each other on top of the recorder. This can be pretty finicky, so just take your time and be patient. Once you get the position right, go ahead and double check the tightness of the screws on the XLR jacks. I noticed the ones that I had received were pretty loose, so tightening them up will add a lot more rigidity to the whole setup. If you're happy with your placement and your XLRs are facing straight, go ahead and snug up the zip ties. Finally, go ahead and clip the excess off of the zip ties. Next, go ahead and plug the adapter into the recorder. You could just leave it like this, but I found the excess wire coming from the adapter was pretty annoying. So I went ahead and coiled it to the back of the recorder and then zip tied the cable to the back of the guard for the microphones. This will give you a really nice compact setup. The next step is a very simple one. Just take your splitter and plug it into the headphone jack on the side of the recorder. This is going to give us a headphone out as well as a jack that we can run over to our camera. A setup like this is going to be great for cameras that do not have a headphone jack. If you're going to be running an output to the camera, one of these short 3.5 to 3.5 cables is going to be really handy. Finally, to mount this to the top of the camera, I'm going to be adding a cold shoe adapter. You simply thread this to the back of the recorder and then we can mount the entire thing to the camera. You can then plug the 3.5 to 3.5 into the camera and the upgrade is done. Now we have the flexibility of plugging in up to two XLR microphones, monitoring the audio on the recorder, and sending a line over to the camera for recording audio on the camera. This will give us dual system sound as well as single system sound in one package. So that's how you can pimp out an H1 recorder just like this and get a more versatile uh, tool, which is really great for audio. A couple things I wanna talk about real quick before we wrap up. Um, this setup obviously has two XLRs and they're going to be split to the left and right channel. And in post, you can modify the levels of those independently. But if you're just gonna be using one microphone, you don't have to do this dual XLR setup. There is a very similar adapter that just goes from XLR down to 3.5 millimeter. So you can pick one of those up and I'll have links to that in the description. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, Caleb, why would you add XLRs to this unit when there's no phantom power? There's no way to send power from this recorder to a microphone. Well, for those that are out there using uh, some kind of preamp, often that will have uh, phantom power that you can turn on and off. The other thing is so many of us, myself included, use shotgun microphones with batteries in them, so phantom power isn't required. So this isn't going to add phantom power, the hack we just did, but um, you know, it's gonna give us XLRs, which for a lot of purposes is really, really nice. So that does it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more content like this, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to DSLR Video Shooter and you'll get more tutorials and reviews right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.